everyone. I'm Allison Wagenfeld, and I head up marketing for Google Cloud. And welcome to this virtual fireside chat. I am really excited to be speaking with Di Mays from our customer, WPP. So many of our customers are doing amazing things with Google Cloud, and I'm really excited to hear more about what Di and her team are up to. Welcome, Di. Hey, Allison. Thanks for having me. So to start at the beginning, tell us a little bit about what WPP does. WPP is a creative transformation company, and it's made up of many brands um, that you probably have heard of. So AKQA, Ogilvy, Wonderman Thompson, VML, YNR, BCW. And we creatively transform marketing for our clients. So the creative bit talks about innovation and new ways of engaging customers. And the transformation means we, we look at the future of marketing and we don't do things just because that's always the way it's been done. That's wonderful. And how about your role at WPP? If I think too much about my role, it gets a bit scary, but I'm the global head of data and AI for WPP. So I look after every agency, every brand in every market, and we cover data and AI. AI. And because there's 100,000 people in WPP, we're a small but perfectly formed team who just makes sure that we create something for everyone and we inspire everybody on the opportunities of data and AI. I love your passion about data. In fact, I saw a picture of you online with a big shirt that says data. Tell me a little bit about what got you so excited about data and how you see it as being so powerful. It's a really weird journey, Alison, because I'm not a data scientist. So that's my confession up front. Um, I don't sit still long enough to be a data scientist. We have brilliant data scientists, but I got the bug in 2007 when I did a project for Dunhumby and subsequently went to work there. And the way they defined loyalty and the way they treated their best customers and the culture at Dunhumby totally inspired me that everybody could get behind data. It can be really used for great, great experiences, really getting to know customers and building relationships between brands and customers. That's wonderful. So some people find data intimidating. How do you make it more accessible? I try and make sure that we don't use the word data as much as I maybe want to. Data isn't about maths. You know, there's so many different facets. And it, when we talk about AI, we say it's a fusion of psychology and economics and maths and stats and modeling and tech, of course, are part of it. But there's something for everyone. But if we don't make it just about modeling and scary, language that people maybe um, know the buzzwords but don't necessarily know what it means, then part of our challenge in the creative transformation process is to bring that to life and to get everybody excited about the opportunities of data. So I was super excited when we announced that WPP had selected Google Cloud as its key cloud partner for driving transformation back in 2019. Can you tell us a little bit about what that journey has been like and how you've been using Google Cloud? So Google Cloud has appeared in such a breadth of exciting projects. So from um, a massive replatforming, I'm sure there'll be people in Group M and at Google with scars of massive replatforming of our audience planning platform from on-prem to Google Cloud. It's already delivered great efficiencies for us because of the agility and the flexibility. So we've absolutely um, been thrilled with the results of that. But we're also doing um, some really innovative machine learning capability with Google. I'm obsessed at the moment with unstructured data and our relationship with Google Cloud allows us to really use your APIs, um, to, to use your vision API, your language API to really, really get some great insights out of unstructured data. So what do you think have been some of the most impressive benefits, either for you or more specifically for your clients? I asked some of my colleagues when I knew I was going to talk to you and they just they summed this up beautifully and you'll like this in your role. They just said Google Cloud is the future of tech. And yeah, that's it. That's it. I, I, I knew you'd like that. Um, so it's the first place we go to when we're looking at tech. It enables us to collaborate across agencies. The I'm really excited about the analytics possibilities. I think we're just starting on our journey 
with you on um, BigQuery and Data Studio and Looker and what the possibilities are. So I think we've just started our journey, but we're already noticing how we can work with it. That's excellent. And as a client of Essence at Google Cloud, we're thrilled that you're using Google Cloud to help make the experience better for all of your clients. So it definitely works full circle. So what's next on the horizon for you with AI and data and Google Cloud? What can we look forward to? So we will continue the unstructured data projects that we're looking at. So we're we're building an unstructured data capability using Google Cloud for our data catalog, where we are curating and inventorying all our data so that we can share it with every market, every agency. So we're up to 400 data sets. Once we can unlock the unstructured data tagger that we're building with you, the, the number of data sets that we can glean insights from will be enormous. And we're also doing a project on um, pre-production videos, knowing that videos in terms of marketing work really really well but they can you can only yield the value once you've finished them and then that can be quite high risk so we're working with the google cloud capability to look at sentiment analysis and building mood boards and i'm really looking forward to working more on ml innovation projects with you this year that's great i've seen a lot of our customers using our ai apis and it's been great that you're getting value out of those so one of the things that I like to always understand, particularly when I talk with other women, is understanding how you're advocating for women in technology, because I know that's something that's so important to just add more diversity into the tech world right now. Anything in particular that you're doing with respect at, to women at WPP or more specifically with AI and data? So we have a data and AI community that we launched last year. It has nearly 3,000 members it gives everybody a chance to have a platform a stage i can't say we're yet at gender parity but we do make sure that females in the team get as much airtime a chance to present we um we launched an ai academy last year and we targeted ourselves with 50 percent females running through that pilot we um we make sure that if we have female events in fact I'll be honest, sometimes I debate, should we have female only events? Is that the inclusivity that we're looking for? But we did run one last year and the feedback from the females who attended was really positive and they really enjoyed it. So I think we will be doing more. And I, I mentor many, many women and they're all brilliant and so smart. And I, and I, I'm not sure what I can add to their lives except give them a, uh, a boost and be their biggest cheerleader, but there's so many fantastic women in tech at the moment. That's wonderful. I love how you're making data and AI accessible to everyone. It just creates such a more powerful platform for I'm sure everybody at WPP, but also all of your customers. So phenomenal. Thank you for collaborating there. So I want to thank you also for all of your time today. It's been wonderful to hear from you, to hear what you're building, to hear about the data community that you're creating, to hear about how you're using all of the most modern technology at Google Cloud to really inspire your organization and do so much more. So thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Alison. It's been great to talk to you. Great to talk to you as well.